Alright, welcome back. Let's do two really quick examples on the stuff we've been learning about um, the beginning of curve, end of curve, the length, um, and some stationing. So here I have a very simple horizontal curve drawn out already. Okay, and the curve starts here and it goes around and it ends here. So this is this is the BC or the beginning of curve and this is the EC the ending of the curve. And the two lines that are drawn are the tangents to the BC and the EC. And remember where they intersect, where these two tangent lines intersect that's called the PI or the point of intersection. <clears throat> so in this example we have a curve and the uh, information given is that the beginning of curve, this point right here, is at station 24 plus 0, 0. Okay? And they say, I'll put that over here, they say that the length, the length of this curve, the length from BC to EC is 1,000 feet. Okay? And they are asking us to find EC. What is, what is the station of the end of curve, okay? And it's actually pretty simple. All you do is you take whatever length you're given and you add it to this station. Because remember, the stations are along this curve by every 100. So 100, 200, 300, and so on. So what you're going to do is um, EC is equal to the beginning of curve plus your length of the curve, okay? And your BC is 24 plus 0, 0, or we can just say 2400 feet. That's the station it's at. And to that, you add 1000 for the length of the curve, and you end up with 3400. Or in station form, that's 34 plus 0, 0. So the station of the ending or the end of curve is at 34 plus 0, 0, okay? Now, what if, let's say they gave us, let's say they gave us um, T. T is equal to 600 feet. And remember, T, let me draw this in another color, T was the tangent distance from the BC to the PI or the EC to the PI. So it's this. This is T, and this is also T. Okay? And they give us, they or they tell us that T is equal to 600, and we want to figure out what the PI is. What's PI? Oh, let me write 34 plus 00, zero here. Okay? What is the PI? So, we kind of take the same concept, um into this problem and we say that the PI is going to be equal to the beginning of curve plus T, right? If BC, you add T, you get PI. Okay? So PI is equal to BC, which is 2400, plus T, which is 600. You should get uh, 30 or 3000, right? And in station form, that's 30 plus 0, 0. So PI is located at 30 plus 0, 0. And the end of curve is located at 34 plus 0, 0. Now, there's one more thing. You may, you may have asked, why, why can't we take, or can we take the EC and subtract T to get PI, just as we did BC, we added T to get PI. Even though they're the same distance, you actually can't do that. You can't take the end of curve, subtract t, and call that your pi. It won't work. Um, even though these t's are the same, are the same, right? Um, the only way you can figure out what pi is adding t to bc. So what if you're only given ec? and you want to figure out what PI is. Well, if you're only given EC, you're going to take EC, subtract the length to get to BC, and then from BC you would add T to get PI. 
I don't know why this is. I don't know why we can't just subtract t. Um, and if you if you do it, you actually get two different answers. If you take 34 <clears throat> and subtract 600, uh, that's that's 28 plus 00. zero. So from the EC, it's 28 plus 00. zero. But from the 2400, you add 600, you get 30,000. Or I'm sorry, uh, 30 plus 00. zero. So there's a difference. I don't know why that is the way it is, but just remember to find PI you always add T to BC. You don't subtract T from EC. If you're given EC, subtract L, find BC, then add T to get your PI. Alright?